Hey guys, what's up? Welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel and Vlogmas Day 6. So today is the 6th of December and today's video is going to be what's in my pencil case which is one of the most requested videos till now. So I thought I'll include it in the Vlogmas video. So now without further ado, let's get started with the video. So guys, this is the pencil pouch which I'm actually talking about. So this is this really cute off-white and pink based pencil pouch which has one pocket right here and a zip right here. And this zip actually helps in extending the area of the whole pouch. So suppose I open it like this. So the pouch, you know, it gets a bit more depth to it. Just in case you have a lot of stuff. So that's really helpful. But I don't really need that. So I'll close it for now. Yeah. So uh, let's start on with the first uh, compartment or the first pocket which it has. So the first pocket has my school timetable. Actually, it's really handy to keep my school timetable in my pouch because I usually carry this every time to school. So, you know, having it right there makes it really handy. And the theme of this timetable actually matches the theme of my pouch. So that's the reason I made it like this. And yeah, so now moving on to the first chain. I mean, that's the only chain you have. So yeah so it is basically divided like this if there's a compartment right here you can flip it and have another compartment right here and a zip is right here so now i start with what all i have in this part so first i have this pen pencil which is the camlin click pen pencil i really like to use pen pencils because i really don't like to keep on sharpening my pencil again and again so this is really helpful for me and then the next thing is the most important thing which is my blue ball pen actually in school we are told to write only with blue ball pens so that's what i use for my regular writing in school is the cello butterfly blue ball pen and it's quite smooth and you know it works really well so i had actually got a set of 40 pens i guess and i have used quite a lot of it so yeah that's really helpful for me and then next i have a permanent marker this is actually not that you know often used but you know you should have a permanent marker in case you need to write anything anywhere so it helps a lot this is the black permanent marker from camlin which is a cd dvd marker fine tip so yeah that's what i have right here and then next is this black ball pen this pen i actually use for my for filling my omr sheet so it is the uni jet stream 101 which is 0 0.7 and it's this click pen so you know click pens are always cool and i really like it so yeah that's what i use for that and then i have another black ball pen i really don't know why i have why do i have these many black ball pens because my school doesn't you know i don't write with black pens in my school so i don't know why i have it but i just have it because i like black so i don't know where it is from like this thing has vanished off but you know it is this basic black pen which you get everywhere it is not that fine if you could see yeah it's somewhat like this so yeah now uh, given just an overview that this side basically has all my regular to use pens and which i need really often and now moving on to this zip so i'll open this zip and i have some utility stuff so this is my tape this is the roller tape and it is so helpful for me because there are times where i need to stick some stuff on my notebook or my textbook like in case i need to stick them then this is really helpful for me this was also shown in my previous stationery haul so you guys can check that out and the next thing is an eraser don't mind my eraser is so dirty and i guess nobody has a clean eraser in this world so yeah that works and then i have some geometry box stuff because i don't really like to carry a separate geometry box so i have this compass from classmate this was this classmate asteroid thing i guess like maximum people have this so this is what it is and then i have a scale i mean what is this called a protractor it that is also from classmates so yeah some math useful stuff and then i have this camlin scale the transparent scale for 15 centimeters because a longer one wouldn't actually fit in my pouch and then next i have these leads for my pen pencil these are actually random leads but they actually ended up fitting in this one so i'm using it right now so yes guys that's all that i have in this section this section mostly has all the utility stuff i can say stuff related to geometry or things i don't 
use that often except my eraser so i just close this it and now moving on to the last section so my last section has quite a lot of stuff so first i have these three mild liner pens these are so helpful for me i mean i use them so often especially you know for reading and when i read my textbook i have this habit to highlight the important points and that's really helpful for me so that's why i have these in three shades one is the steel then the fluorescent yellow and the pastel pink these are actually dual tip ones so like here it's the basic highlighter chisel tip and then this side it's this fine tip it's not that fine but you call it a fine tip so yeah that's what i have here and then next i have these four black pens like some more black pens but these are not the normal ones these are the artist pens the fine liners so these are from faber castell and yeah i guess that's what you call it faber castell yeah so uh, these come in four sizes one is f extra small small and medium wait i'll show you guys a number so that would be more helpful yeah so 0.5 0.1 0.3 and 0.7 all of these are just so helpful for me for journaling and even sometimes you know when i need to write some headings or stuff so i use this and you know basically i use this more in journaling because you know i simply love how these pens work it's they are so smooth and especially they're even good for mandala drawings like if any one of you is interested so you can go get these and then i have this one spare blue pen is the same butterfly pen and it's in a packet so just in case i run out of that i use this so yeah that's what i have in this one and i'll just give you guys a demo of how this chain works yeah so i just open this and then i just give a lot more depth to this pouch so like in case i need to fit some more stuff in it i can but i really don't have a lot of stuff in my pencil pouch because you know i only carry the ones the things that are actually useful for me so yeah now that was an overview of what all i have in my pencil case this obviously might differ from person to person but that's what all i like to carry so yeah i guess that would be it for today's vlogmas video i hope you are enjoying vlogmas so far if you are then don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up subscribe turn on those post notifications and comment down below what your favorite part of my video was till then stay safe and keep watching